All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide trips deep. Close next go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. What up, though, guys? Welcome to another Ass Bugs video here on the Huddle GG YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to have a, have a very unique series that we're going to be doing where we're basically going to break down or have a little mini scheme where we're going to do a series over the next three to four weeks where you're going to see a series of videos dropping of just dots that are going to come from this Washington football team playbook. And shout out to my guy, David Horn, in the YouTube comments. He said, back at it again. Books, can you drop a WFT playbook mini scheme? Shout out to anybody in the chat or anybody that's watching right now that understood what WFT meant. I myself, it took me about five to ten minutes to sit here and stare at this question and figure out what was he, what was my man's talking about with the WFT. I had no idea, and I had to think about my like, right, WFT. I was like, oh, maybe Washington football team. I'm still not 100% sure. David Horn, you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm going out on a limb and just assuming that's what you meant. But anyway, let me continue the question. Books, can you drop a WFT playbook mini scheme and find a second formation to run along with Bunch? I got you, my guy. David Horn, I got you. Make sure you just stay tuned. I'm going to give you the dots. Follow along over the next couple of weeks. We're going to cook up nice little dots and, and really get you going, man, and have you a nice little compliment. We're going to work out of the Y trips formation. As you can see, I'm already in the formation. But before we get into any of that, make sure you guys check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv backslash Bugatti Bugs. I'm probably live right now on Twitch. Come through, check me out. I'm always trying to help make guys better. I'm always willing to answer questions live on stream. That's one of the things I really love to do to help people to just get better at the game and just talk about the game of Madden, period, because I truly love the game of Madden. Um, but yeah, man, check me out. Continue to post comments in the YouTube comments as well as in the uh, Huddle Discord as well. I'm always lurking around trying to help you guys out and answer as many questions as possible. So let's get into this video, though. So what we're going to do is go to the wide trips formation. We have this play right here. Slot to buck. Uh, we're going to really kind of utilize that slot post route. That's really going to be our... Our, our route that we can't necessarily recreate. A lot of times when you're looking to create an offense or looking to create a mini scheme, you're looking for routes that you can't really re recreate or spacing that you can't really recreate uh, within a formation. So that's one of the biggest things when you're trying to develop or create an offense. First, I'm going to start off against a cover three. And this little setup that I'm going to show you is really going to be very effective against all covers. Cover three, cover two, cover four, Cover two man, cover zero, it doesn't matter. It's going to be really, really good. You're just going to have to make the read. So what we're going to do, and the beautiful thing about what I'm about to show you, you don't need a hot route messer. You don't need special routes. You just need you just need to be, you just need to have the game of Madden, and you're good to go. All right? So what we're going to do is put the tight end on our route. We're going to block our running back. We're going to smart route the post route. And so ideally, you would want to be, 10 yards or less as far as you're down in distance for this post route because the deeper you are, the deeper this post route is going to be. You want it to be this shorter angle. You see how it's kind of at this short angle? Um, this is kind of how you want it to be. So you want to be 10 yards or less. Um, maybe 11 to 13-ish is okay as well. Uh, so what we're going to do, out route the tight end. We're going to streak our X receiver. We're going to motion slant this B receiver. Um, and you're going to see as you follow along with the series why in the consistency of motion slanting this B receiver, especially when you're going up against man coverage, you kind of want to, just like in on Sundays when you're watching football, the offense and the offensive coordinator likes to get these receivers in motion so that they're not getting just jammed and pressed at the line of scrimmage. Same thing in Madden. You, you want to kind of keep your guys in motion. It kind of Helps them to get open faster and different things like that. So what we're going to do, motion him over across to the left side of the field, like so. Snap him while he's in motion. Slant wide open. Ugh. All right. And your eyes are kind of working from right to left. Um, so you're kind of glancing at that out route. Is it open? And it's, it, the out route can beat man coverage, especially when you got a higher route running 
uh, tight end running that out route. And then he's also going to act as a flat route for the slant. As you can see, it pushes the purple or the curl flat all the way to the sideline, which creates spacing for your slant to just be wide open. And then you're really kind of reading the user in the middle of the field. Does he guard? Does he jump the right side of the field or does he jump the left? If he jumps the right, then you're going to look left. If he jumps the left, then you're going to look right. And you can see that post route just getting open, wide open over the middle of the field. All right. Uh, let me go up against cover two now. Sorry, I don't have my other controller connected right now, so we're going to have to just work with uh, what I have. Okay. So now we're going to go up against cover two because I want to show you guys what it looked like against cover two because that was cover three right there. So, and forgive me if I'm moving kind of fast. Just trying to make sure you guys aren't just staring at a, too much dead air. All right, so we're going to motion them over again. You see against cover two, ball kind of sails in the air with the uh, Alex Smith, stronger arm quarterback, as well as a a gunslinger is is fitting that ball over the zones much better than he did right there. You see kind of that slow wind up and the ball just kind of sails in the air a lot longer than it would if I had a gunslinger quarterback. So that will be your preferred option. But also, as you can see, got a quick dump off to the out route. And then you can also kind of low ball the slant right here in front of the zones if you need to or throw it as soon as he hits this open area as well and possession catch it right in the open area um, and then I'm about to do it against cover two man uh, cover three and cover four are going to kind of essentially act the same where's my play all right And if you do want to put the running back on a, a route, you can put the running back on an option route. If your opponent is not blitzing you, then go ahead and put them on that option route. Go ahead and put them on that option route. But if you're getting blitzed by your opponent, then go ahead and block your running back. So it really just depends on your opponent on whether or not you need to start blocking people or not. But once again, against man coverage, you can see that motion slant is going to beat his man. Option route just torch his man as well. Tight end on an hour out. Boop. Cooked him. Slot guy on the post. Whoop. Cooked him too. A nice little, it's just a nice little simple baby dot that I feel like you can trust against zone and man coverage. Uh, doesn't really matter. Your opponent's going to have to start messing with zone drops to try to take away that uh, slot post route that you're going to really just kind of abuse them with. Um, and. Once again, I'll just show you guys against cover four. Let me see if there's a cover four. This is a cover four match right here. A little bit different as far as the responsibilities and what happens on the field uh, rather than like the standard cover four. Get the ball off there. Nice little throw out of sack. But right there, a little match coverage right there. I don't think there's a a standard cover four, but it's going to essentially act the same way. The out route is going to pull down the flats, push the flats out. Slant's going to be his man. And as you can see, your post route is starting to separate from his guys here that matched on him, and you'd be able to throw him late on the sidelines. Uh, you just wouldn't be able to throw him early because his zone is kind of sitting here. You wouldn't want to throw it early. He's going to, he's going to pick that off. You want to throw it once he passes his face towards the sideline. But, yeah, man, this is slot two buck out of the Washington football team playbook. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this dot. We're going to cook up some more dots and have more as we go along. Continue to follow along for the next three to four, maybe even five weeks. We're going to try to cook up and have better dots. I already have a for sure three dots already ready to go for it uh, i'm still messing around with a couple plays on how i kind of like them right now but once again my name is books hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments 
also continue to post those questions because once this series is done, we're off to answering more questions in the YouTube comments.